One of the biggest trials Albuquerque has ever seen is now underway. Defense attorneys are in opening statements right now in the murder trial for two former APD officers. Keith Sandy and Dominic Perez are charged with killing a homeless camper in the line of duty. Here's News 13's Alex Goldsmith. Kim, both officers are charged with second degree murder for shooting and killing James Boyd. A high profile trial two years in the making. It happened in March 2014 in the foothills. 19 officers, many heavily armed, were in a standoff with James Boyd. What was the crime that merited this kind of response? Illegal camp. Prosecutor Randy McGinn argued it was Officer Keith Sandy himself who escalated the situation, dispatching himself to the scene, throwing a flashbang grenade. He shot Boyd first as he was turning away while holding two small pocket knives before, before Officer Dominique Perez also opened fire, killing him. Her argument, the officers can't claim self-defense for a situation that they created. Defense attorneys for those now former APD officers paint a different picture. They say these officers were acting to protect a fellow officer from an unstable, dangerous, and armed man who made death threats to officers and was in a position to hurt a canine officer after that officer moved in. He was in a position where he had no firearm in his hand and was going to be stabbed if these officers didn't do what they had to do, what their duty required them to do. That was defense attorney Luis Robles. This is the first day in a trial that could last three weeks. If they're convicted, second degree murder carries a sentence of up to 15 years in prison. Voluntary manslaughter, also an option for the jury, that carries up to six. Back to you. Okay, thanks, Alex. Now, Dominic Perez was fired after he was indicted. Keith Sandy retired before APD could take action against him. The city has already settled a civil lawsuit in the case for $5 million. Stay with News 13 for live reports on the trial at 4 and 530. And, of course, you can follow the trial live on our KRQE News app.